Hey guys, welcome. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> welcome to the reviews channel. Sorry about my greasy hair. Today we're going to be reviewing the Dock and Bay towels. Yeah. <laughs> So let's jump straight into the video. Well, my name is Keshvi and from now on I'm going to be your host on here. I currently can't see anything because I don't have my glasses on. So I just want to say a quick thank you to our friends at Doc and Bay for sending us these. I'm excited to review them as it's only me that I'm washing. I'll only be using a couple of these. Let's open them up and see what they look like. Okay, so first we got the hair wrap. I love hair wraps. I'm such a big fan of them. Oh, I love the material. I don't know what material that is, but it feels really nice. It has a little button on the back just here, and it's got your thing to hook, the, hook onto the button. So I'm excited to try this. Dock and Bay towel, extra large. They all come with these drawstring bag baggies, which is cute. I like that. I love this like striped kind of like nautical theme pattern they have. It's quite big. Like, okay, so I'm five foot seven, right? That's like what, six foot? So it says sand doesn't stick. I wish I had some sand to test this out. So I'm gonna have, have a shower. I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, yeah. Let me just get dressed quickly. I hope that transition was as smooth as I wanted it to be. Okay, I liked it. It dr dried me instantly. It's very much a practical towel. It has this really cute hook thing um, so that you can hook it on for it to dry. In terms of the head wrap, oh my god, I love this head wrap so much more than my current head wrap. My current head wrap is like a flannel one. And it's great, but like this just feels so much better on my head. It doesn't feel like it's pulling my hair, um, which is really great. And um, it wraps so easily. And I think it's the same material as the other towel. So it's dried my hair quite a lot. So I'm going to leave this to dry and I'm going to come back in like maybe an hour to see if it has fully dried up or if it needs a little bit longer. It is 10.30 and now we're gonna check if they're dry. So let's do that. It's like a little bit damp, but it is much drier than I was expecting it to be. But today is not the kind of day that you would go to the beach anyway. Generally it would be hotter, so this would dry quicker. So I think We've got to give it a little bit of slack because of that. Also, the heating in my house isn't working at the moment. The quick drying towel that I have, because I do a lot of backpacking, this kind of material really, really dries quickly in hot weather. The fact that it is like only a little bit damp right now is incredible. It is now 11.30, so it's been an hour. I have hung it up on my light. It's, this is my camera stand. Um, but they both seem dry, like fully dry, no wetness at all on both of them. I'm going to use this towel um, for the next couple of days until Friday. Morning. So it is Friday and it's like the fourth day I've used it. I think I said it in the start of the video. I did want to do like a sand test. I'm going to use salt instead. So let's go do a salt test because salt, sand, same kind of thing in it so we're outside because I don't want to do this inside because I don't want to have salt all over our floor right this is still damp ish from having a shower Ooh, I'm gonna leave this out here it's been about outside about an hour but I really should get better at recording myself all right let's see how well this comes off that's what you do at the beach, right? There's still salt and sugar pieces. Like there's less than there normally would be for sure, but there definitely still is some on there. So let's put this in the washing machine. It's washed. It smells lush because it's been washed. Um. I mean, it's pretty clean. It wasn't that dirty when it went in, um, but there's no salt or sugar on it, so that's good news. It still is very thin. It 
Feels good. Same with this. 10 out of 10, guys. So in terms of buying, let me tell you, I would 100% get this. This is totally worth it. The head wrap, it's just, because of the material, it's just so much better for your hair because flannel, if you guys don't know, breaks your hair a lot more than uh, like t-shirt fabric, cotton, um, and other fabrics. And this is like one of the best materials for your hair. So this is 100% worth it. Um, if you're gonna get anything from this. This is great. I would get this if you are going on holiday or something like that. And it does go very small. Let me show you, I am folding it up currently. It folds up small enough, like that would normally be the size of like t-shirt, pair of like thin trousers. I love, love, love the pattern on it. I think that's so cute, perfect for the beach. Those are my recommendations. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys ever used Dock and Bay before? What did you think of it? It's been great chatting with you. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.